What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, Samsung is pushing an update to one of their best new apps for One UI 6.0. If you haven't tried this yet, as soon as you get One UI 6.0, you really need to try it. Uh, they push it out during the beta period. It allows you to create some really unique transition effects with your lock screen. And uh, I'll remind you guys how it works today for those of you who weren't here during the beta testing. It's a very, very cool customization feature. They push a new update, works with some more devices, and fix some bugs today as well. Before we get started, I want to thank my son Jonathan. We have the uh, Inosaurus, the T-Rex here. He's got a lazy kind of leg over here, so he's just kind of hanging out with us. We always appreciate him giving us some dinos to hang out. I also want to mention my partners at Mint Mobile now have one of their biggest sales of the year, and you guys get early access to it here through my link. It's their Black Friday sale. Buy any three-month plan, get three months free. You guys see it right there. I've talked about their different plan options here on the channel many times. They've got a five gigabyte a month, uh, five gigabyte a month plan for fifteen a month, the fifteen gigabyte a month plan for twenty a month, the twenty gigabyte a month plan for twenty five a month, and the unlimited plan for thirty a month. You can see down there you get plus three months free. So essentially, you're basically getting six months for the price of three months, which is absolutely amazing. All their plans come limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. It's very simple to switch to Mint. You get an eSIM, which allows you to get your eSIM wherever you are. You don't have to set up to wait for them to send you one physically. Um, you can activate it on your phone for supported devices, of course. But if you do need a physical SIM, they'll also send you out a SIM tool. Pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, let the savings begin. Been using them in Phoenix now for over a year. Me and my family both love them. They're great for travel as well, all across the US, as I've traveled various places. If you guys want to give it a try, get in on this amazing deal right now. TryMintMobile.com slash Springer. This is a limited time offer. Currently slated to run through December 30th, 2023. So check it out in the pinned comment description, trymintmobile.com slash Springer to get in on the buy one, get one, uh, buy three months, get three months free rather promotion before it ends. And we do appreciate men for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this update. Let me go into Good Lock. So for those of you who don't use Good Lock, first of all, you really should be. If you wanna learn more about Good Lock, definitely subscribe to the channel. There's these amazing modules that Samsung has that allows you to customize your phone, and Wonderland is one of them. So let's go into the store here. It was just updated uh, with a lot of new features for One UI 6.0. Uh, updated yesterday, um, actually today, I'm recording this on November 14th. I don't even know what day it is. 1.4.05 is the version, 83.94 megabytes. And over here, you guys will see what is new at the very top. Supports always on display transition of Galaxy Z Fold Z Flip devices with One UI 6.0 or higher. I'll show you that on my Fold. Basically, they added support for the AOD transition. That was something they added for the S23 Ultra in the previous update. A removed unnecessary masking effect when setting dynamic animation options for the Z Fold Flip devices. That's something people had complained about in the previous update. Uh, change the location of the image setting button and the effect selection button and fix the issue where the setting is reset if the button is not pressed on the image setting screen. So I'll show you guys that this does work on the Fold as well. We'll open it up and take a look how it looks on the Z Fold 5 in a second. But if we go in here, basically the new feature is, it's always had this create your own moving wallpaper feature. That's been the staple of Wonderland for quite a long time. The new feature is the different lock screen effects. And I showed this one on my S23 Ultra in the last video that I had. Basically you choose a wallpaper. This is one that I got from 1.4 Wall, one of my favorite wallpaper packs. It's linked below. Uh, the developer is a good friend of mine and I've talked about it a few times on the channel. You can see how it looks with the uh, screen on and the screen off and the effect. See how this one has the hexagon effect. You can set it or you can edit. So if you edit, this is the image button they're talking about. They changed the location of this. Uh, you'll see here, you can pick an image or you can go in here and actually get downloaded wallpapers from there. Uh, you can also then make sure, of course, if you wanna use the AOD transition, you need to go and enable the always on display. You see, I turned always off display off today, mainly because I was trying to save a little battery but you do need that, otherwise this will not work uh, properly. And you can see here that once you do that, you can choose an image. Now you can choose the same image or a different image. I personally think it looks better with the same image. Um, that's why I had that set up this way in my configuration. Now it shows you screen on, screen off. See how the hexagon's gonna look. The hexagon does move around to prevent image burn in. You can change the effect. They added some cool new effects in the last one, slice, ripple. Uh, you can change the tile size, speed, and depth and then you can save it. And of course I've already saved this one. So you can save it to whatever you like. Uh, and then once you do that, of course, you can then go back and actually set this as your wallpaper. Once you edit it, you can go ahead and set this as your wallpaper on the lock screen and everything. And then when you go back, there is your effect. 
It does appear to be smoother uh, with this update. I will say that as well. That's something I complained about in the previous update. So keep a note of that as well. So let me show you guys on the Z Fold 5 really quick because the Z Fold 5 is one of the big changes here is this now works on the Z Fold 5. They have a bunch of pre-made ones, by the way. Um, and I actually really like this one. The game Pixelate is kind of a cool one. These are some pre-made options. You can edit them, of course. So you can see here, you can change the image if you want. You can see once again, I don't have the AOD turned on here. So I'd have to go in and turn the AOD on in order to get this to work. Screen off, screen on, and change all the effects just like you did before. So if we set this one, set this wallpaper really quickly, you guys can see how it looks on the Fold 5. There it is. And again, you can use this with or without the always on display. You saw it with the always on display on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Here it is without it on the Fold. And you can see if you go fingerprint style, if you press the button, as soon as you press the button to do the fingerprint, you do still see the pixelation. I personally think this is a really cool app. Um, I really love Samsung adding new modules to GoodLock. It'd be really nice if they would add custom charging animations. That's next up on my wish list. Let me know what you guys think about that. I know a lot of you guys have messaged me asking for custom charging animations. I think we'd all like to see it. Anyway, if you just got One UI 6.0, here's another cool thing you can try. Go download it. I'll drop the link below to check it out. Also want to remind you guys again about Mint Mobile, one of their best deals of the year. Buy any three month plan, get three months free. Try mintmobile.com slash Springer to sign up today. Limited time offer, like I said, so take advantage while you can. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.